Hey, what's up guys? Today we're installing a uh, temperature gauge in a Johnson 70 horse outboard. There's the engine cover if you need to see it. And most outboards don't come with temperature sensors. I've never seen one. The only one they come with is the horn in the control box. And this one's been overheating a lot and the buzzer goes on. The buzzer goes on, but once the buzzer goes on, you've already overheated. So uh, this will tell us you know, if we're creeping up on hot or if we're cooling down. It'll just kind of show us what's going on. So to do that, this gauge has a couple connections. Pretty simple. It's got the cinder to the temperature sensor, which I'll show you in a second. It's got positive, negative. Now this is what you'd want to put the positive from your switch on your controls so this gauge would only turn on, only turn on when you turn the key on so you don't run down your battery. These wires up here are kind of optional. They're for lights so they light up this gauge at night. You'd connect those to your lighting switch for your, your nav lights. Um, so I'll show you the, the important part is each when you buy a gauge, make sure you get one of these. It's a temperature cinder. It, uh, it screws right in here. This Johnson had a blind hole, threaded hole here that was the correct size. So what that means is it's a it's a threaded hole that doesn't actually go into the water jacket. So it's there. So it was. It's not touching any any water. There's nothing going to leak out if I pulled this out. So um, they must have set it up set up the engine for this. So it made it really easy. Um, make sure when you buy these, these cinders and these gauges kind of come together because they need to be calibrated for the temperatures on the gauge. So try to buy a package, don't try to buy them separate. Um, anyway, so if you don't have a th blind threaded hole like a like these Evinrude's, Johnson's, anything OMC would probably have something similar. You want to mount it high up on the engine somewhere, and you could use. They have a. Sometimes they come with a Z bracket, they call it. So it kind of, it, it puts this sensor in contact with the head somewhere. Um, so you could you could possibly do it. See that hole right there? You could possibly do it there. It's another blind hole. Um, just look around. And if you can't figure it out, have a mechanic do it for you. I wouldn't use a head bolt because they need to be torqued just right. And they probably need all their threads. But maybe I'd use a thermostat bolt. I don't know. But, uh. Anyway, so that's the pretty much the core of this whole project is this is the cinder wire. This is the only wire that needs to come back to, to send the gauge, the temperature of this um, temperature sensor. Um, this is the temperature switch. This is what will tell you, will set off the horn when your outboard overheats. So it's an on and off switch. It's either closed or open and closed is over 180 degrees, I believe, and that's overheating. Um, so it's so these are in the same positions, which is which is good Anyway, so I'm gonna route this wire along along here along here Along my same engine wires and up. This is the worst part of this actually is wire routing so in a center console especially so uh, Up to my dash and you know, that's pretty much it guys if you're handy with some crimpers um, you could do this project. This this gauge package on eBay cost me under twenty dollars shipped. So yeah, look around. I recommend it if uh, you ever had any overheating problems. Um, incidentally, I just had the mechanic move my telltale from here to where is it at now? Follow the hose. You moved to, oh, to right on top here because these Johnson 1670s from the early 90s had this uh, chronic overheating problem. So uh, I guess there was a service bulletin that came out in the early 90s that said there could be an air bubble trapped in the system. So they uh, this hose I'm looking at is the pee hole, the telltale. So instead of coming out the lower part of this uh, cooling manifold here, it comes out of the upper part so no air can get trapped so it'll escape through the tube so anyway I was having some overheating problems so you can see how the paints come off on this thermostat gets got pretty hot a few times so anyway we'll check her out see if she works and uh, hope this helps you out putting in a uh, temperature gauge and an outboard motor all right here we have the uh, installed 
a temperature meter for the outboard and I've wired it so flip the key turn it on see the uh, fuel gauge works the same way and of course the motors not been run tonight so the it's not very high temperature but you can see it move see it move there so we're good to go and uh, we'll see how hot it gets but it'll be just a good indicator to set a baseline and then if it goes above that baseline under normal conditions we'll know there's a problem Normal temperature right in the middle, 175. Cruising. Hit 